what's up with it? What it do? Y'all already know what it is. It's KC, the real peel out. Back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. We'll keep our wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and all that shit to the back of her neck, holding it down, locking her ass down, submerging down that motherfucking game. Bear with me, my fucking sinus is fucking with me, man. Uh, <clears throat> I got allergies, so it goes down like this when the weather changes, so uh, I'm all right. <laughs> Like I was saying, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, pipe in high status, you're going to get it down your phone to your ear, all ear candy game. Oh, yeah. You got any questions or comments or concerns, <clears throat> go to my about section on my main page and you will get my, um, damn, raggly ass motherfucking car. <laughs> but, yeah, go to my about section on my main page You get my Gmail. You'll get my um, my social media sites. You'll get um, you know my phone number. You know you get at my Patreon, my Facebook groups. You get everything. And uh, <clears throat> fellas, if you want a consultation, send a donation, or if you want to drop a video, want me to drop a video, any of you, of any request you want, send a donation. And get at me in my um, Gmail, or you can get at me on my phone number. You can say hit me up with a text. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm all ears. Or you can just hit me up. Fuck with me. Now we're going to get straight to it. <clears throat> Take a sip of water for this one. This one's real. This is for you fellas right here. This is that real shit. You'll never know who she smashed before you. Probably during you. And after you. So stop asking. Stop it. You make yourself look like a fool. And you fuck around and go crazy want to know something that you'll never know the answer to. Fuck what all these dating coaches say. You'll never know the answer to it. That's real shit. Check game, fellas. We all have dirt in our closet. Some are doing dirt now. And the majority of us will continue doing dirt in the future. Dirt can mean anything. However, when I say dirt, that doesn't mean violence or, you know, doing anything illegal. My terminology of dirt for this video here is smashing multiple chicks, you know, or women smashing multiple dudes. We all got that in our class, you know. Now, <clears throat> what brought me to come up with this topic is because I'm starting to hear this from different men, all walks of life. I'm starting to hear this shit, you know. Uh, fuck. Man, before I take her serious, I wonder, I wonder how many dudes she been fucking with. How many bodies she got? What's her body count? Come on, fellas. If you're going to take her serious, take her serious. Of course, she got to show, you know, show you, um, you know, display some kind of means of trust display some kind of means of um, loyalty or dis dis display some kind of means of um, having your back. You know, um, showing you she, she's all about you. Get rid of social media and all that type of shit, you know. Basically, showing you she's about you. So many words. Now, if you want to take her serious, that's cool. If she got, if she can cover all those in, that's cool. But other than that, You'll never know her background. Even when you take her serious, you still will never know her background. You still know, never know who she's fucking with or who she fucked. Could have fucked your homie. Could have fucked your favorite rapper. Could have fucked your favorite movie star. You never know. They women. They like cats. Real shit. Sneaky as fuck. Now, <clears throat> men are actually concerned about how many bodies their chicks have. Like she's going to keep it a stack. <laughs> Like she gonna keep it a stack, you know what I'm saying? On how many guys, <clears throat> excuse me, on how many guys she let bang her out. Women loves to preserve that good girl innocent image they had when they were kids. Not knowing that those days are far behind them. It's over with. That shit ain't there no more. You're not a good girl, so stop faking. You know, real shit. Now, Fellas, don't worry about who she smashed before. 
during, you know, probably during or after you. It doesn't matter what they say. What you don't know won't hurt you, right? Ain't that what the, that what the saying is? What you don't know won't hurt you. Now, if you're willing to take her serious, and if you're trying to or take her to the altar, have kids by or anything, then you ain't going to want to know those things because it might hurt you, you know, to find out that she slept with your pops way before you. You see, you're probably doing you or after you. <laughs> All type of shit go on. I'm not trying to be funny and take it to that extent, but that shit happens. You probably never know. So, you know, I understand that you want to make her your love and your life. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're concerned about her body count, then don't consider a relationship. Remember that. If you're concerned about your woman's body count, don't consider a relationship. Don't consider marriage. Don't consider taking her serious. Don't consider nothing that can draw an attachment. You might as well keep yourself detached. Keep it on a, you know, smash level. And that's what it is. I be hearing dudes say, man, if you don't make her come, and the next dude do, she'll never come back to you. Or, <laughs> if you don't make her come, she'll leave you. Check this out, fellas. Let me break it down to you. <clears throat> a woman came with other guys before you. Probably doing you and after you. That doesn't mean shit. She either left them or they left her. How you think she ended up with you? <laughs> Well, she been busting though, right? How you think she ended up with you? Think about it. Okay, then. It's all about that moment in time with them. Hell with us all, to be honest. You know, even with us. You know, it's a moment in time. Then we on to the next chick. It's a moment in time with her. You know, if we're in relationships and relationships and relationships, it's a moment in time for that time and that person. It's how I go. You know? Now, if you were to ask... A woman who was the best overall man that she have ever encountered. And she answers your question. No matter what she say. I can guarantee you she's not with the motherfucker anymore. <laughs> so that should resolve your answer. So none of that means nothing. It's all about the moment of time, fellas. Now. Which should show you that it doesn't matter who she was with. It's basically just for that moment and her time of life. Yes, it's a chance that if she's comfortable enough with you, she'll share, she'll share certain parts of her past sexual encounters. Remember this, she'll tell you what she wants you, you know, what she want to tell you, what she wants you to hear. Not everything, though. That's only if she doesn't view you as the jealous type. However, that'll all end once you become attached. You feel me? It all in once you become attached. Especially if you're talking about taking her serious. You would want to know her body count, right? Yeah, of course. Trust me, the foul, grimy, triple X rated sex <laughs> she had with the guy she admired, you'll never know about that. Fuck what you hear from these dating coaches. Fella, stop asking that question. You don't want to know the truth because the majority of you can't handle the truth. Just know that it's your turn. And that's it. That's it, fellas. That's all. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. And my bad about my no sinus and shit, man. I be working. I be working out, grinding, doing these videos. So just bear with me, man. I know my nose is a little stuffy. You know, the stuff you whatever is, you know, it is what it is, man. I got allergy real bad, but um, I overcome this shit. Take me a couple of um, some of uh, Claritins or something. I'm straight. But fellas, back to what's real. You do not want to ask the question. You know that it linger and linger in your mind and end up hurting you. End up touching you some kind of way. End up making you see her some kind of way when you know you love her. When you know you care for her. Certain, some things and certain things are just best kept unsaid. And let life flow on. You know what I'm saying? Hell, you might be so honest and give up 
you know, everybody you just slept with. You know, I slept with this person. I slept with that person. I slept with this person. Is she going to do the same thing? Fuck no. And if you can remember everybody you slept with, man, you ain't slept with no bitches. That's just real shit. Because I, I really, that's just real shit. A lot of these guys talking that, oh, my body count is this. My leg count is this. I done hit this. And you can count every woman that you had sex with. You did not have sex with a lot of women. I don't even fuck with nobody say. And that's real shit. So, like I was saying, back to this real shit. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. And stop asking that goddamn question, man. Accept what you got right then and there, and that's what it is. That's for the fellas in the relationship, not all men. Because I'm not doing that shit. I already know what's in your closet. I already know what's in your past. You know? I'm just not a relationship guy anyway. So, holla.